Now each hunting season, I believe that the various moon phases do offer uh, a little bit in leading you when you should hunt, influencing your stand decisions, and um, and the moon does play a little part. You know, obviously there's there's decades of research that show that the moon does not influence the timing of the rut and when does are actually bred. But I do believe there is a little bit of um, influence in there for when deer choose to feed, when they're on their feet, when they're bedding. Now, I'd like to simplify things for you and I need to simplify things for myself. And, and that process began 25 years ago for me where I started really watching the weather and seeing how the weather influenced deer, influenced movement. And obviously you look at things in terms of extremes and that's why I looked at, look at it. For example, let's say you have a full moon or a new, a new moon, uh, first quarter, last quarter, whatever it might be. The, the moon phases obviously have maybe a little bit of influence, but if you have a massive blizzard rolling through, a massive rainstorm, a huge temperature drop, huge winds, those are obviously going to influence deer movement um, at a higher extreme and a higher level than the moon. But that being said, you know, I think that you can build an entire season on watching the weather. I have a book coming out about the weather patterns and how those weather patterns influence when you should hunt, where you should hunt, why you should hunt, and, and exactly what to look for for every aspect of the weather. Um, I believe if you look at that as your base and if you follow the weather as the base of when you hunt and then pay attention to the moon a little bit that's all you need to do unfortunately people look at the moon this is a perfect day you know the moon wise they go out it's 85 degrees in the first week of october there's 30 mile an hour winds yeah there's a slight chance you're going to shoot a mature buck but if you took a day off just because of that moon influence that's a shame as, as for you know from what i'm looking at it on the other hand if you take a day off great weather day then that moon has the ability to maybe influence your hunt or not. I would never choose a day based on the moon, but I would highly choose a day based on the weather. You can always have a great day based on the weather, but that's not always the case with a great moon phase day. The moon, what I really like to watch though, and I think there is an important point, is what I've seen, what I've experienced, and I've heard this from others too, is if there's a full moon rising in the evening, then a lot of times the deer movement can be slow that evening, um, slower than typical, slower than average, slower than it needs to be for a high temperature drop or whatever it might be. When I notice that, that evening, there might be a lower value on that evening sit because of the morning, um, the uh, evening uh, rise and that rising full moon in the evening. It's really bright. But in the morning, what that tells me a lot of times is all night those deer are feeding high in the hog. It's a relaxed night. It's a bright night. They can see predators. It's low stress, to me anyways. And so that must increase, it, to me, it, it seems like it would feed, uh, increase feeding opportunities. Then when it gets into the morning and you're heading out to your stand, there's a good chance those deer are in their bedding areas. They're already there. And so keep that in mind when you're going to a stand. But I think that also, because deer feed five times in a 24 hour period, and that can be like a roller coaster. So imagine those two feedings at night are high. That feeding in the morning is low because they fattened up all night. They're in the bedding areas, but then late morning comes around 10, 11, 12 o'clock, right around in there. That feeding could be higher because it was lower at first light, at daybreak, higher at night. So there's that roller coaster feeding. So when you have that full moon rising, look for those late morning opportunities. I've been writing about that for years. That's a great time. And if that coincides with the rut, if that coincides with a cold weather day, then boy, you can have the perfect combination for great hunting. Really pay attention to the weather. That can be a stable base that simplifies your hunting decisions all hunting season long. Add the moon phase to it for consideration of the evening. If there's a full moon or a dark moon, I think the dark moons in the evening can be a great time to hunt. Consider that late morning hunt. And I think you can use that moon to influence your hunting and your decisions and the quality of your hunt, the success of your hunt, just a little bit. But make sure you follow that base of the weather. And I think you'll be on track for your hunting decisions for not only this season, but for decades to come.